Welcome back to another video of the V12 build. Uh, so I've got this piece of bar. I'm just going to put all the main carrier sections with the correct spacing to tie it with the bearings on the crank and start tacking the block together. The block is made up out of all of these pieces. Uh, some of them need trimming to size. Let's see how we get on. Right, that's all the main caps spaced on this rod. And then I'm going to start welding the block together, which has got small side pieces and supports for the uh, cylinders, which will obviously be offset because there's two rods per journal. So one bank's going to be slightly offset to the other. And these are cylinder wall sides, which will sit uh, to create a water jacket, which probably won't run or probably won't use for the first time to run it because it's going to be quite a lot of effort to seal everything up to get it watertight. I want to sort of prove the concept first, so it would just be a case of um, it would just be a, a jacket which may not be exactly waterproof to start with. Right, let's see if we can stack it together. So this is set up for welding now. I'm just going to tack it together. Some of the welds went okay. Other parts like this bit up here has melted. I think there's still enough uh, metal there to hold the cap in place. Obviously, I'm going to weld it on the other side as well. Uh, it's just that when this plate's quite thin, it's you don't really get much time to tack. So that is the main caps. Uh, welded around the edge in a sort of fillet and then across the top and then I'll have to machine that off flat and then I've welded both the watercooled jackets up I'm just about to try and weld these on here that's the next step so I just tack this barrel in place and I'm just running through and doing tacks from every main to the top of the effective block.
So that is the block welded up. Lots of welding. Some of it's a bit messy, so don't look too close. Um, I had to use some 6mm rod just to go along this section here. Um, I've got the crank in. It's a little bit tight at the moment because I think I took this bar out, which is still quite warm, a bit too early. So I think it's distorted a little bit. So I'm gonna have to uh, straighten it up. But it needs to be a fair amount of machining just to get it, um, just get everything in the right place. Uh, some bits went a bit out of true as it was being welded. But I think we will get there. Uh, I can straighten things up. Uh, obviously, need to finish off the ends, and I have to bore these just to make sure they're in line uh, and square, and surface the top of these and surface the bottom. Uh, yeah. That is it for another episode of the V12 engine. Thanks for watching.